In 1955, a TV series hit the screens that would become a household name without the need for extravagant adjectives or complex storytelling. Gunsmoke, a show set in the Old West, brought the rugged tales of Marshal Matt Dillon, played by James Arness, to living rooms across the nation. The series wasn't just about shootouts and showdowns, it was about the grit of frontier life, justice, and the characters who populated the rough and tumble world of the Wild West. As you watch, you'll be surprised by the funny, shocked by the unexpected, and moved by the sad. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Or perhaps, out of the many roles in the show, which one was your favorite? Keep watching because there are countless interesting facts waiting to be revealed. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Gunsmoke? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're eager to hear your take on this iconic series. Stay tuned for more interesting insights into Gunsmoke, your favorite Old West drama. More surprises await. Gunsmoke, a television series that debuted in 1955, left an indelible mark on the landscape of popular culture. It wasn't just a show. It was a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and its ability to captivate audiences. As one delves into how it was received during its time, it becomes apparent that the series wasn't merely a passing trend, it became an integral part of the television landscape. Throughout its run, Gunsmoke garnered immense popularity, resonating with viewers across the nation. Its impact was remarkable, delving into the intricacies of the Old West and portraying the challenges faced by the characters in a captivating manner. The ability to weave intriguing narratives, coupled with stellar performances by the cast, contributed to widespread acclaim. In the world of television, its legacy is not only reflected in the original run, but also in the various spin-offs that followed. These further explored the rich characters and narratives introduced, allowing fans to delve deeper into the Old West universe. The enduring appeal led to the creation of merchandise ranging from action figures to apparel, allowing fans to cherish their connection to the show. Moreover, its impact extended beyond the small screen, inspiring adaptations in different forms of media. The influence of the show could be seen in literature, radio, and even in the way subsequent Western-themed productions approached storytelling. This adaptability showcased the ability to shape the cultural landscape, leaving an indelible mark on the Western genre. In the annals of history, Gunsmoke stands as a prime example of a television series that not only entertained, but also influenced the trajectory of popular culture. Its impact, felt during its time, continues to resonate through the various adaptations and merchandise that follow with its conclusion. The series' ability to connect with audiences on a visceral level solidified its place in the cultural consciousness. In conclusion, Gunsmoke's journey from a 1955 television series to a cultural phenomenon is a testament to storytelling prowess and the remarkable impact it had on the popular culture of its time. Its legacy endures, etched into the fabric of entertainment history. Gunsmoke, a television series that premiered in 1955, had a profound impact on the entertainment landscape, influencing subsequent TV shows, movies, and media. As one of the first successful Western dramas on television, it set the stage for the genre's popularity in the following decades. The show's narrative depth and character development paved the way for storytelling in television. It introduced a level of complexity to its characters, going beyond the simplistic hero-villain dynamic commonly found in Westerns of that era. This nuanced approach influenced later productions, encouraging writers to explore more intricate character arcs and relationships. In the realm of television, its success prompted the creation of other Western-themed shows attempting to replicate its winning formula. The influence extended to characters who grappled with moral dilemmas and evolving relationships, aiming to capture the same authenticity that made it stand out. Moreover, its impact reached beyond television into the realm of cinema. The show's popularity played a role in revitalizing interest in Western films during the late 1950s and early 1960s. Movies began to incorporate similar narrative elements and character dynamics, mirroring the success of Gunsmoke. Comparatively, other shows of the era, such as Bonanza, shared the Western genre but differentiated themselves in tone and storytelling. While the latter leaned towards family-friendly narratives, Gunsmoke's grittier and more realistic portrayal of the Old West set it apart. This distinction influenced the development of subsequent Western-themed shows, each finding its unique approach within the genre. In summary, its influence on subsequent TV shows, movies, and media cannot be overstated. 
Its impact resonated in the evolution of storytelling, character development, and the revitalization of the Western genre in both television and cinema. In its extensive 16-season run, the TV series witnessed notable developments. In season 10, episode 21 titled Song for Dying Milburn Stone, who portrayed Doc Adams, chose the character's first name Galen, inspired by an ancient Greek physician. During this episode, Theodore Bickle's character, the singer, refers to Doc Adams as Galen, marking a distinct moment in the series. With a remarkable 20-year span and a total of 635 episodes, the show stands as the second longest running American primetime television series. Its longevity was surpassed by The Simpsons, which achieved more seasons in 2009 and more episodes in 2018. The show's opening sequence, featuring Marshal Matt Dillon walking among the graves on Boot Hill while delivering the introductory narration, directly mirrors its radio series counterpart. This recurring motif contributes to the series' continuity. These aspects showcase the unique elements that set the series apart, making it a significant part of television history. Gunsmoke, spanning 16 seasons, holds a distinct place in television history. Notably, Glenn Strange, who portrayed Sam, the bartender, concluded his film career with the series. A pivotal moment in casting came when James Arness, resembling John Wayne, was chosen for the role of Matt Dillon, with Wayne himself introducing the first episode. The show's longevity was marked by prudent decisions during downtime. Facing creative challenges, the writing crew underwent complete overhauls between seasons, ensuring fresh perspectives and preventing repetition. In the show's extensive run, an article in TV Guide from August 23, 1975, revealed the rigorous casting process for Matt Dillon. Among the contenders, William Conrad lacked the appearance, Raymond Burr's stature posed an issue, and John Pickard faltered in a love scene. While John Wayne's consideration was denied, Arnis eventually took the role, influenced by Wayne. Gunsmoke's resilience is underscored by these behind-the-scenes choices and its ability to navigate creative challenges, making it a noteworthy chapter in television history. Denver Pyle and Raymond Burr were contenders for Matt Dillon's role in the TV series. Although Pyle later appeared in multiple episodes as different characters, the role eventually went to James Arnest, resembling John Wayne. Interestingly, John Wayne himself introduced the first episode. In 1967, facing low ratings, the show faced cancellation. However, CBS president William Paley, a devoted fan, stepped in and moved the series to Mondays. This decision not only saved Gunsmoke from cancellation, but also returned it to Nielsen's top 10. Surprisingly, the cast remained unaware of the cancellation scare, learning about it through trade publications. This unexpected turn highlighted the behind-the-scenes dynamics, adding to the show's unique history. In its extensive 16-season run, James Arness stood as the sole actor appearing in every episode. His portrayal of Matt Dillon alongside co-stars like Buck Taylor, who was also considered for a role in Hawaii Five-0, contributed to the show's significance. Notably, Arness's resemblance to John Wayne, who introduced the first episode, marked a pivotal casting moment. Gunsmoke, alongside the life and legend of Wyatt Earp, played a crucial role in popularizing television westerns, leading to a surge in their primetime presence, with up to 40 airing by the late 1950s. The show's resilience during its two-decade span was underscored by strategic decisions made behind the scenes. Facing creative challenges, the writing crew underwent overhauls, ensuring fresh perspectives and preventing monotony. In 1967, the series faced a potential cancellation due to low ratings. However, CBS president William Paley, a devoted fan, intervened, moving the show to Mondays and saving it from being axed. This unexpected turn, unbeknownst to the cast, highlighted the dynamics shaping Gunsmoke's unique history. James Arness's consistent presence throughout the series, combined with strategic decisions and unexpected turns, solidified Gunsmoke's place in television history. These elements, along with the show's role in the Western television era, contribute to its noteworthy chapter in the annals of television. James Arness, the lead actor in the enduring series, faced challenges beyond the script. Drafted in 1943, he served in North Africa with the 3rd Infantry Division. In the Anzio invasion, machine gun fire left him severely wounded, resulting in a medical discharge. 
Despite losing part of his foot, Arnus later became the face of the series, earning accolades for his service, including a bronze star and purple heart. Gunsmoke originated as a radio series in 1952, created by John Meston and Norman MacDonald. Adapting over 400 radio scripts, the TV version aired in the UK as Gunlaw. To accommodate this change, opening sequences were refilmed with comedy writer Dick Vosberg, doubling for James Arnes. Intriguingly, the show's roots run deep in radio, lasting until 1961. The transition to television showcased the adaptation of Meston's radio scripts, contributing to the series' longevity. This dual medium presence marked a unique aspect in the series' history. This series, born out of radio narratives, resonated globally. It navigated challenges both on and off screen, making it a pivotal chapter in television epitomized by James Arnes's enduring presence and wartime sacrifices. James Arnes and Milburn Stone stood as the show's anchors throughout its two-decade run, totaling 635 episodes on CBS. Their unwavering commitment to the series, with a brief exception in 1971 when Stone faced health challenges, solidified their roles in its enduring legacy. Dennis Weaver's portrayal of Chester, complete with a limp, brought unexpected challenges. Weaver, expressing regret later, hadn't anticipated the labor involved in maintaining the limp throughout Chester's actions. Upon Weaver's departure, director Andrew V. McLaglin suggested Ken Curtis for a tryout as Festus Hagen, drawing on their past collaboration on another show. Festus, distinct from Weaver's character, assumed the role of deputy, ensuring a seamless transition in the cast. These behind-the-scenes dynamics, from health challenges to character choices, showcased the pragmatic approach that defined the show's journey. James Arnes and Milburn Stone's consistent presence, coupled with the cast adjustments, contribute to the series' remarkable chapter in television history.